Jeff Ferguson on the Hot Topics. Stay tuned. We're going to get political. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. My name is Jeff, Arizona Hot Topics. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about that Kamala Harris person. Here's what I've learned about her. When she was in California, she started dating this person. Much older, married, but dating this person. Through that process of dating that person, do you know that that's how she got promoted? That's how she was able to advance her career. She became the Attorney General of California because of that person. So she literally was sleeping to the top. She was sleeping with some, a married man to advance her career. Now she's in the, the House, the Senate, whatever. Now she's in Washington. Along the way, she has been nothing but a teacher's pet. She has been a brown noser. She will say and do whatever it takes to advance her career. I tell you, the, the most interesting thing was... I saw, or, or I heard this interview, I forget who it was, but they were asking her after she was chosen to be the vice president's, um, or chosen to be Biden's running mate, vice president, they says, hey, you were pretty tough on him during the campaigning and during the primaries, and she laughed it off. She literally was like, ha, 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 ha. It's the primaries. What do you expect from me? It's the primaries. You do things like that. I'm like, really? You do things like that. You know, you're supposed to, in a primary and debating, you're actually supposed to bring up legitimate questions. You know, you're supposed to bring up the differences between you and the other person. And the differences that she was bringing up was was more of attacking him, his character, and basically flat out calling him a racist. And yet, now she supports him? So that tells me that Kamala Harris supports racism. Because now she's... And yet she says, oh, no, oh, no, that was just, that was a debate, ha, ha, ha. That really concerned me with the way that she responded to that. And another thing is this. When they were doing another interview with her a while back ago, she was like, oh, yeah, I smoked pot in school, and I listened to Tupac and Snoop Dogg, and they didn't even come out with their first album until after she was done with school. Why would she admit to not only, A, breaking the law like that, listen to... Musicians who haven't even produced albums yet. And yet, she was, when she was the Attorney General in California, she was incredibly tough on those who did drugs. She went to the extent of the law. She didn't give anyone any breaks. And she even had kids who would skip school. Their parents went to jail. So instead of like trying to solve the problem, trying to help out the kid, trying to find out reason trying to do all that kind of stuff. She actually put the parents in jail. She was tough. But she's the, the, the Attorney General, and that's what you're supposed to be, right? She's being teacher's pet. She was saying, see, look, I'm a good Attorney General. I'm, I'm pushing everything to fullest extent of law. I'm tough on law, because that's what the Attorney General should be. Okay? But then he asked her the question, he says, oh yeah, I smoked pot in school, and I did this and that. And again, she lied. She said something to make her seem cool, to make her seem like she's hip. She was trying to, and he, trying to make herself attractive to some kind of voters or something. So, her history 
kind of worries me. She is a teacher's pet. She's going to say and do whatever it takes to advance her own career. Even like the Kavanaugh um, hearings uh, or confirmation hearings. Um, you know, Kavanaugh, who was later um, Supreme Court Justice, and they were going after him over a uh, over a, a sexual allegation thing, and and come to find out the woman was lying all along, and yet, boy, she was all over him about that, about how you should believe the woman, and yet. Biden has been accused of doing the same thing. His 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 unwelcomed gestures for children and women, especially children. She's okay with that, but she wasn't okay with Kavanaugh, and even though that was not a real situation, so. Yeah, she's, she's going to say and do whatever it takes to advance her career. And, I don't know, you, you guys in the workplace, what do you think of a brown noser? Huh? What do you think of that, that's, that person who's always going into the boss's office and, and, and cuddling up to the boss all the time, even if they're not sleeping with them, they're still like the boss's pet. They're like the boss's favorite. Really? And then they get special treatment. That's what she has done her whole career. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a Harris fan, just for that reason. Thanks for tuning in, folks. I'm Jeff. Arizona Hot Topics. See you. Bye. Have fun.